Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I hatch brine shrimp to feed my jellyfish. There are several ways to do this, uh, but this is my preferred method and it's pretty cheap and easy to do. So here is what you need. You need about six inches of stiff airline tubing and maybe six to 12 inches of flexible airline tubing. And I'll go into details on that in a minute. Uh, an inexpensive pump, some brine shrimp eggs, a one or one and a half liter plastic water bottle, a sturdy glass, and a light source. So what I do first is take a one or one and a half liter uh, water bottle and cut the bottom half um, or quarter off and remove the label. Now you can use the bottom part as a stand, like so, if you would like to, but I think it's too unstable, so I prefer to use this glass, extra glass that I had laying around. Then you fill that with salt water that matches the salinity of your tank. In order to hatch the brine shrimp eggs, they need to be aerated and constantly moving. So that's where our pump comes in. You just need an inexpensive pump. And all you need to do is go to Home Depot in the refrigerator section. You can buy quarter inch uh, stiffer tubing. And you can also buy quarter inch flexible tubing, very inexpensively. So you need to cut the stiffer tubing about six inches or so, so that it will reach the bottom of the container. You're gonna always want it to be aerating from the bottom so that they don't get trapped down there and stop moving around because they really need to be moving. So when you cut it, you can just um, take the end and put it into the end of the more flexible tubing. And then that flexible tubing will attach to your pump. So later on, um, when we're ready to get going here, we're going to put it down to the bottom and tape it down to the edge so it stays down there. You're also going to need a light source. I just had uh, this an inexpensive light, I think from Target, uh, around the house, so don't need anything special there really. They just need to have constant light for 12 to 24 hours for them to hatch. And then of course you're going to need some brine shrimp eggs. You can purchase uh, dry brine shrimp eggs like these from Jellyfish Art and possibly your local uh, fish store. Jellyfish Art is uh, the company that makes my tank, which is in the background, and uh, it's loving having that. I prefer to purchase decapsulated brine shrimp eggs, which is what I have here. These are stored in the refrigerator, and what that means is that the shells have been removed. When you have the dry eggs here, uh, when they hatch, they will leave behind hard shells which can damage the jellyfish and any other marine life that you might be feeding brine shrimp to. So I bought these online from Brine Shrimp Direct. I think it was around $20 or $25 for this container. Um, which sounds like a lot, but it's viable for a year as long as you keep it in the refrigerator. And really this is probably a life, you know, a year supply for the jellyfish. So it's really a, a pretty limited one-time expense. Um, when you get when you get it, it's uh, going to be a little bit separated here. But the brine shrimp eggs are along the bottom. So what I'm going to do is stir it up. And get a scoop. The scoop comes with the with the eggs. It's about a half a teaspoon. Mix those in with your salt water and note the color. Uh, you'll see the eggs, barely see them because they're quite small. Uh, they're a brownish color and the water's still fairly clear. In about 12 to 24 hours of constant aeration and light, they will hatch. The warmer the temperature is, um, the faster they'll hatch. I actually keep these out in my garage in Florida, so they hatch pretty quickly for me, sometimes even before the 12 hour mark. And I'm just gonna put this down to the bottom and turn the pump on. Get them all up from the 
bottom there. Put some tape on this and let them sit like this for 12 to 24 hours and I'll see you then. Welcome back. The brine shrimp have hatched. Water is now a cloudy orange color. So the first thing I'll do is unplug the pump and remove the tubing. And I'm going to reposition the light source toward the bottom of the container. You can also use a flashlight for this. And that will draw the brine shrimp down in a concentrated mass toward the bottom. While I do that, I'm going to show you what the brine shrimp look like swimming around. And we'll come back in about five or ten minutes. And they'll be concentrated toward the bottom. See you in then. Welcome back. Our brine shrimp are now at the bottom of the container. So I'm going to use a straw to suck them out by putting my finger on top, pushing the straw at the bottom of the container and lifting up, which will suck up the water and brine shrimp in a concentrated form. And then I'm gonna put them into a smaller container, which I can then store in the refrigerator for up to about three days. And then I think they're no longer a nutritious source of food for the jellyfish. So at that point, we'll start another batch. Here's our concentrated one. And thanks for watching. See you next time.